YouTube! We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? And this week we're back with another episode of Spicy Sports Betting on Co uh, Champs Corner. I almost said Coach's Corner. Jesus. Ugh. Champs Corner, that's my show. <laughs> So, yeah, we're doing some spicy sports bets again. It's UFC 258 tonight. And uh, I don't know what to tell you. Every time I'm picking fights these days, uh, I'm picking them right. And I'm not having to do punishment. People are getting disappointed. Poor Pierre, he keeps commenting in there. He wants me to do more that I'm betting every single time. But unfortunately, Pierre, I have to lose to either do punishment for you, man. You know... Let's get there first before I start doubling my bets. <laughs> but thanks for always commenting and uh, try to make it worse for me. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you, man. So, yeah, you know, what can I say? I've done well on my sports picks lately, and I have not had to do any of my follow-up punishments. So, um, you know, here we are once again. This is my third attempt in a row now to try to uh, see if I do punishment. So, tonight is UFC 258. And I'm going to do two picks for tonight's fight card. Um, and just to let you all know right now, uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow because I'm going to have another video tomorrow um, that's going to deal with uh, my garden. I'm going to show you guys my 2021 garden. And I'm going to give some grow tips for beginners and people that are interested in starting their own gardens right now. Uh, I'm going to give you the tips that seem to have worked the best for me on getting my seeds started. So I think this is an appropriate time to do that. I'm going to do that for you guys because um, I couldn't find definitive answers to a lot of my questions when I was trying to figure this out. And I think this will help a lot of people. So stay tuned tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you hit the like button for this video. I'm not getting enough likes. And uh, make sure you watch the video in full if you can. Um, but yeah, tomorrow tune in. We'll do a garden video and I'll do some tips for you guys. But today we're going to do Strictly UFC. So tonight there's two fights I'm going to pick. Um, the first fight would be between Kelvin Gastulum, Gastulum and Ian Heimish. Um, and this is kind of an interesting fight because if Gastulum loses this fight, I think he's done. I mean, this is a guy that had a lot of promise in the UFC. Uh, he should probably be fighting at 170, uh, but he had problems making weight. And um, he's done that a few times. He even struggled when he went up in a class. So, you know, that's not a good thing. You know, that's a discipline problem. And I'm not knocking the guy because I like Kelvin. I think he's a good fighter. He's had good performances. He's had some exciting finishes. And uh, he's still a young guy. He can still turn around. He's in his prime. I think he still has potential to do something. But he's got to, you know, have the focus. And I think, you know, if he had that, things can change. Um so that being said, you know, this, this fight tonight, if he loses this fight, I think he's done in the UFC. So it's important for him to win this fight. Uh, and for Heinisch, you know, the, there's no real downside to, you know, this. Uh, well, I mean, maybe there's a downside to him losing to Gastelum. But, uh, um, you know, I don't think this is a do or die situation for him. If he beats Gastelum, it's a name for him. And, and there's a lot of upside for him to beat Gastelum, obviously. So, you know, I, I, the fight makes sense for both fighters at this point in both their careers. But that being said, I don't think Gastelum should be treated like a guy that's 37 and maybe on his way out. Uh, he is only 29. And, uh, you know, I think when he's focused, he's a very game fighter. And I think he has the capabilities to, you know, compete for top tier ranking, maybe. You know, he... Did have a title shot before, and, uh, you know, I, I don't say it's out of the realm of possibility if he was focused and, and went on a roll that he could get another one. So, you know, I, I still have a lot of belief in Kelvin, and um, I think this fight is a fight that he will win. I can't see him blowing this fight. I thought he looked good at the weigh-in yesterday. He looked in pretty decent shape. Um, so I, I think he's ready, and I think he's going to put on a good show. And, and if Heinisch puts on a great show, then it'll be his night. And that'll probably be it for Calvin Gastelum. But uh, I think Gastelum will take this fight. So I'm going to bet on Gastelum today. And what I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet those 15-plus-year-old uh, apple juices that I did not use on the last bet because I won that one too. Uh, I'll bet both of them on Gastelum winning this fight. I'll chug them both. 
if he loses. So my pick for that fight is Gaslam. And then we got the main event between Gilbert Burns and 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 Karim Usman. Kareem Usman? Oh, crap, I forgot his name. <laughs> Usman. We'll just call him Usman. So, um, you know, that, that's a that's an important fight. Usman has uh, been pretty impressive in welterweight. And uh, the way he took the title was uh, really no surprise to anybody when, when, it, when it happened. Uh, it was a very dominating performance. And, uh, you know, he, he's a very game uh, champion. I think this guy has the tools and the wrestling abilities to dominate as a champion, not short-term, but long-term. Um, Gilbert Burns is going to be a challenge. He, he is going to be a challenge. I, I believe this is a tough fight, and people were asking me about it all week long. And, um, you know, I didn't want to answer the question. I, you know, like, I never really want to talk about a fight, what I think about a fight, till at least seeing the weigh-ins and the main stare-down. I know stare-downs mean nothing, but I like to see how a fighter looks from, from coming into, uh, to the fight. You know, if he looks overly drained or ruined at the weigh-in, that's not a good thing for the next day. So I like to see the way they look at the weigh-ins, the real weigh-in, not the ceremonial one. Um, and, I, and I like to see how they look when they go face-to-face. -face. Sometimes it tells a story, sometimes it's nothing. But, you know, it, it gives you a feeling. And I'm sure everybody gets a feeling when they see that and, you know, they pick their guy then. And that's what I do. I, I want to get that point. I want to make sure, you know, somebody's not injured or looks funny or too drained. I want to see how everything looks. <clears throat> and if, for a fight like that especially, you know, some fights you can pick right away. Uh, but for a fight like this, you know, it could go out of the way if certain things go a certain way. Um, but in this case, I think Usman's uh, wrestling should be too top tier. I think, I think he's going to be too dominating that way. And I think he'll be able to negate Burns pretty much. And um, I see Usman pretty much having a spectacular performance tonight and winning this fight. And if he doesn't win the fight, I'm betting the Chili Cherry Nightmare. I'm betting a square of the Chili Cherry Nightmare on Usman winning this fight tonight. And if he does not, if Gilbert win Burns wins this fight, I will eat a square of that and punish myself and possibly in combination with drinking that apple juice if Kelvin Gastelum loses. So let's see what happens tonight. So make sure you guys check out the prelims. And make sure you uh, buy UFC 258 on pay-per-view. And uh, let's see a good night of fights because it should be. They always are. And uh, see if I'm right or wrong. Because if I'm wrong, I got to torture myself for you. All right. Well, that's all for this week. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for my special episode of Oat My Garden, Giving Bro Tips. But for now, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Check out last video where I picked fights where I ended up being right, so there's no punishment this week. And check out this random video here. And tune in to see if I am going to be doing punishment next week. But make sure you tune in tomorrow to see my grow tips. See you then.